Hello, this is Eric Primor here. We're redoing this post because it was a little mischievous here. A little error. You know, it's you know, it's been ten years ago since digital television transition in the United States. And you know, I was lucky to get a PTV Convert Box coupon promotion when this all happened. When the analog switch off had to happen on the digital switchover, an analog shutdown had to happen. Well, bought me a DTV Convert Box, had to scan for TV channels. Well, as you know, I had, <laughs> you had to get my picture here. Well, time to get the picture, folks. Here's a little something. <coughs> get me off the screen. You know, you know, on, on February, before the original cough day of February 17, 2009, CBS 12 KXII TV did indeed sign off the air on its analog signal on February around Valentine's night past the midnight hour of their original sign off of their CBS affiliate serving Sherman, Denison, Ardmore, Ada, and Paris, which happened. On February 13th and February 14th, 2009, which among those 641 stations representing the cut were transmitting digitally. Well, you know, well, it is the policy of KXI TV to keep viewers informed throughout each day. They will interrupt regular programming in the event of emergency or news or weather of major importance. Well, to be informed, you always stay tuned to CBS 12, KXII TV, here on My 12, here on Fox 12, and of course you won't see it on Ion Television 12.4. Well, as you know, when KXII TV then ends its analog transmission, it was why they had 224,000 watts of visual power from its transmission facility southwest of Medill, Oklahoma, route highways 99-377 and 99C. Well, to all of you viewers, it's a circular polarized antenna, it's 1,700 feet. Well, Southern Oklahoma and North Texas, Texoma land is where the KXI TV service area. Folks in Ibell and Broken Bow and don't get to see the TV channel. Well, after February before after February 13, 2009, it was all digital. Excuse me here. After the analog shut down. Well, we all deserve to hear about this happening. You watch so many analog shutdown videos on YouTube, you've seen it. We all seen it all. You know K CBS twelve KXI T V has not only the network's programming, but my twelve at twelve point two Fox 12 at 12.3, and Ion Television at 12.4, besides CBS at 12.1, so that's all you can see there. Now, the second station to sign off its own analog signal was K10 Television. Well, it has three TV channels of its own. Took this out of my right out of my mouth. You know, K10 
K10NBC is 10.1. Tax on CW is 10.2. And ABC Tax Oma is now is actually now ABC 10 on 10.3. Well, as you may know, as you may viewers get to watch on K10 television and ABC 10. As part of, as you get to watch the station, you'll get to catch syndicated programming, as well as K10's local news and ABC10 First News, besides K10 News on its own K10 NBC, as well as syndicated programming on both TV channels and and the, and the text on the CW has its own syndicated programming too, airing from the CW Plus. And when there is severe weather, you may know on viewers continue the K10, you will see which counties are on the map graphic on the, either the higher left corner or lower left corner on your TV screens during severe weather, during NBC network programming and ABC network programming, you will see, you'll be, K10 will be informing viewers to tune to K10 and ABC 10 during network shows for any severe weather alerts and updates. They may interrupt regular programming should weather of major importance happen. Although during the program, except on text on the CW, it will be simulcast on all three TV channels should K10's meteorologist have will be informing viewers for any weather updates should this happen as the events warrant. Boy, if you watch KXI TV, you know, News 12's Weather Authority has three meteorologists now. And, and we'll be informing viewers, should programming be interrupted, you know, you'll see crawls from News 12 where for at the bottom of your screen and the county map and where it's, where the watches and warnings are on screen. And boy, 10 years it's been over 10 years since the analog to digital conversion. And we all know how things happen. Why we, and I, I even survived it when I had my own DTV converter box, but then it was taken away. Now we have TVs, one here in this bedroom. And the other here in the living room, where we're on now solo these days. And as you already know it, folks, we all, you know, K10 Television and KXII TV will be informing viewers to tune in during severe weather coverage during network shows should any weather or major importance happen you have to be informed and boy 10 years after the switch to from the analog to digital conversion we surely are digital nowadays and sound like Alligators never got turned digital. 
If we made our own song about public TV, OETA did this twice for four of its TV stations in 2009 here in Oklahoma. And you may remember the public television network in Oklahoma, known as the Oklahoma Educational Television Authority, the Oklahoma Network, which was originally named, sure brought viewers a lot of programming. Well, besides its four full-powered satellite station, three of those satellite operations and one in Oklahoma City, the 14 translators are operating on UHF channels and one will shut down in Frederick, Oklahoma. Well, AETN has its own outlet because Fort Smith is further away from Eufaula. Cheyenne's further away from Amarillo, where KACV is a PBS station. You know the PBS satellite service? You have like OETA's main channel, OETA World, formerly Create, formerly OPLA there. Still got Create. On OETA and OETA, the PBS Kids Channel, formerly OETA Kids. And we all got to see on the last six months since World Channel replaced OETA Oakla. And now. As you may already know it, we sure miss signing time and Rachel Coleman. And we have a special song for you folks. It's called A is for Alex and Alligator. We are kids around here who we'll like this song. I'll come right back to you your final thoughts. And now and then 
Oh, yeah. See you later, Hopkins. <laughs> of course, the show is not on the air anymore. And even Rachel Coleman's show, if there were not a sing-along version, we do a talkative version about PBS shows, which is not a singing version. Now, I have silenced myself for a minute. I want to thank you all. And now we know our ABCs. Sound like. Alex and Leah and Hopkins are Rachel Coleman's friends on signing time. Well, we sure missed the show. <coughs> Although Two Little Hands Productions, Vegas PBS and American Public Television run the show now. And boy, we... You want to catch sign time? You have to have to find out where. Yeah. If we all got lyrics, we all know. was the DTV transition of years ago when we all got to know it. And all of you can thank Myself here. It's been like sunny days. And well, the DTV transition from analog digital had to happen. And now, what we want to say to you is. As we all been thankful, it's like saying goodbye to a friend, folks. Analog TV is what it was. And we have a song by Andrew Go coming up in a second. We're in almost five minutes, folks. And it's like the theme song to the Golden Girls in the Golden Palace. And for all you being friends on analog TV to digital, we all say thanks for the ride. And until I do my next post. We all say this so long for now. And here's Andrew Gold with Thank You for Being a Friend as a theme song for the Golden Girls and the Golden Palace. And you all like it? We sure saying one more word I'll say. At the end, towards the end of the song, I'll add one word to it. Thanks for joining me for this post. And I'll make the bed before I rest up.
Until then, it's from the best of Andrew Gold. This is thank you for being a friend. And until we meet again on our next post, thanks for joining me here and doing the leash. <laughs> until then, thanks. Thanks a lot. Friend?
And for our close, thank you. Anything on your computer, you need to get grappling. And for our close, I want to welcome two new subscribers to my YouTube channel. So, thank you and thank you all for following me on my YouTube channel. Thank you for being <laughs> our friends and hope y'all until I till we do another post. We'll say so long for now. This time until later on. We do our next post.